Ok, role play. No, pero no me voy a sentir cómoda así. Oh, pero, pero para qué? que Sheila y Rochelle lo vean. Ajá. Okay. Uh -huh. okay, Sheila, Rochelle, okay, the role seller. play. So you're the seller? Mm -hmm. I'm the buyer. Mm -hmm. Okay, ring, ring. Hello? Oh, no way. Oh, yeah, I'm calling you. Okay, uh, yes, uh, is this, is this uh, Rochelle? Yes. Hey, Rochelle, uh, are you the owner of 123 Main Street? Yes, why? Okay, so it's a cold call. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, why? Oh, because uh, uh, I'm interested in making you a cash offer on your property there at 123 Main Street. Are you an investor? I, I, I am an investor, yes. Uh, are you open to working with investors or not? That, am not I talking to the investor or you are just an assistant? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, w would you like to talk to the investor or to the assistant? I I I'm confused. Well, I don't know which one's better. Who's going to give me the offer? Okay, the, the investor is going to give you the offer. I'm here to gather information for them. If you want to sell, though, I, I'm not sure you want to sell. Well, I don't think you can afford for my house. You don't think I can afford it? No, because if you, uh, what are you, are you a cash buyer or what? Well, I don't even know anything about your property, ma'am. I'm sorry, like, I, I don't. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think you can, you can afford it. Okay. It's too much for you. It's too much for us? Well. I don't know any information about your property, but based on your tonality, I don't think you even want to sell. Well, I'm asking for 400. Well, like I said, you know, I, I don't like your tonality. We, we, we work with people we like, and I don't like you are being mean to me, and I, I haven't even asked any questions. But you're, do you want to buy? Or look, no? you're interrupting me. You're not even letting me serve you. I want to serve you by asking you questions about okay. the property, but you keep interrupting me. I don't think you want to do business today. Okay, well, let's talk about my property. Now, you fire. No, no, no. Yeah. See how you calm down? Mm -hmm. See how you chill? Because I said the obvious. I mean, you're interrupting me. You're being rude. Mm -hmm. And, hey, I'm in a straight. I'm just, I want to serve you. Okay. So now you, now you chill. Right? Now we can have a conversation like adults. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, let's talk about your property. So when was the last time you replaced the roof? Everything is new. Have you looked at the property at least? No, that's what, no, we, so I've looked at Google, Google Maps, and, um, but I can't really tell from Google when was the last time you replaced the roof. And the reason I'm asking is because that's a major ticket item. When we walk homes, we typically look for three things, roof, foundation, and AC, because those are the major, the costly things. But do you have anything of, the, of, those, of those going on? Do you have any? No, everything's perfect. Everything's perfect? Yes, wow. I said, I mean, I, I want... I want four hundred because I know it's worth it. Oh, well, okay. You want four hundred thousand, and how did you arrive at that number? I'm, I'm curious. Have you looked at the property? No, like I said, I I, I looked at. Uh, yeah, uh, that's why you don't even know what the property is. Yeah. Okay. What was your name again? Uh, Robert. R Robert. Hey, Robert. I I don't think we're gonna do business. I think you're in a bad mood right now, and I I don't think you're ready to do business with us. I mean. Again, you're, you're condescending, you're talking down to me. Well, I haven't looked at the property. Am I the investor? You know, I don't, I don't feel comfortable doing it. Yeah, that's because you're, you're only looking for cheap stuff, right? Mm, you know what? This conversation is over. You have a good day. Mm -hmm. But that, that's all you can, you don't, you don't take crap, mm -hmm. right? And you're calling them on their crap. Mm -hmm. But you're being, you're not being rude, you're being professional, mm -hmm. but you don't take it. Mm -hmm. You're like, dude, you're, you're being mean. You know, I, I want to serve you, mm -hmm. you know? So this is good role play. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sheila, Rochelle, don't take crap from people. Call them on their crap. So, and they're going to tell you, hey, especially you guys. I mean, all of us, we all have accents here, you know? She's from Mexico, I'm from Guatemala, you guys are from the Philippines. It's all good. Um, we can't change our accents, right? And that's okay. But people will judge you on your accents. And they will tell you things like this, like, hey, you don't sound like the investor. Like investors have a certain way they sound. You know, anybody can be an investor, but people are dumb. People will say that. Uh, um, but cut them on their crap. Don't take it. If you, as soon as you start taking it, if 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 they're not being professionals, you're the professional, and you tell them, "Hey, I'm here to serve you. And you're not letting me serve you. You're interrupting me. You're condescending. You're talking down. Heck no. I'm not gonna take that. And you kill it, right? And and, and you should kill it. Next. Right? Because people that want to sell, they're going to answer questions. They, 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 they want to work with you. People like that, that are mean, a lot of times they, they just, 
these people feel better by putting you down and they just want to have an ego party and they have no interest in selling they just want to make you feel bad and remind you that you're you you can't afford it that you're not buying that you want to buy cheap stuff and you know um so you don't have time for that so that was a great role play